Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome to your weekly general taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. So this is a weekly general overview of the energy trends and themes that are coming up. I've been doing these for a while now, uh, as many of you know, and if you've been with me long enough, you know that it was you guys that kind of created this reading. We kept noticing trends, patterns, and themes that were coming up in the weeklies. So we decided, together actually, yeah, we decided um, that I would create a weekly general to see what the overview was. And this is always informed by my intuitive message. So every week I'll go into my intuition to ask the audience or the universe, whatever you want to call it. Um, what is the message? What is the intuitive message that you would like me to share? And this week I saw a really interesting one. So I saw like uh, a beautiful crow. Uh, if you've been with me long enough, you know as well, crows are very special to me. I love them. Um, and I saw a beautiful crow and its outline was pink. And outside of that, there was kind of like a, a big circle. Um, and then out like inside of that, there was like a, almost like a, a pink triangle, if you like. And so as I was kind of looking into this and listening, what I heard was um, the the crow's voice was kind of, it was screeching out and the word that it was screeching out is actually a word that I know to mean fate. And so this week the message is empowerment equals choosing your fate. All right. So I think it was Carl, uh, was it Carl Jung? Yeah. That said, uh, you know, your, and your unconscious patterns will continue to rule your life and you will call them fate if you don't sort of address them. And so the message this week for me, especially because crows represent illumination among other things, they can represent loads of other things as well, but illumination. And I remember once when I was 15, I remember reading and this is because I'd had, at that point, I'd had a crow follow me for a really long time. Like wherever I went, I always noticed just one crow. And, uh, and now even family members and friends will say like, oh, you know, I saw a crow the other day and I thought of you. Uh, so they always know, like if I'm around or if I'm sending them messages, that's how it will come. All of that aside, what really spoke to me about this was, um, in choosing your fate, right? Empowerment means choosing your fate. You always have a choice. We always have a choice. We always have a decision to make. Even when your back's against the wall, even if you're, you know, when they say you're between a rock and a hard place and you're damned if you do, if, you're damned if you do and you're screwed if you don't. Even if we don't like the choices that we have and the choices feel, you know, potentially unfair or whatever it may, the case may be, we always have a choice in every situation, right? So this week, take your empowerment and i take the energy the number the, the number the color pink i see very much as uh, an energy of uh, love right so tapping into that heart space to illuminate the crow uh, you know by choosing your own fate and the reason this was important uh, for me to kind of go down as a path is I remember reading uh, when I was younger that crows only ever come to you uh, when you're at your darkest moment and it's not to laugh at you or to crow at you or you know like the movies and stuff would have you believe it's actually because crow brings medicine wisdom knowledge magic power power from the other world and it brings you light at the most at the mo the crow brings you light at the moment you need it most and that has stuck with me all these years I'm 37 now not exactly an old man but you know I remember reading that at 15 and it stuck with me until now so this week your empowerment comes from choosing your own fate the power is in your hands to choose what it is that you want from this week more importantly what it is that you want from the rest of your life moving forward no matter what happens on the wider world stage and if you if you go ahead to watch the weekly uh, sign videos there's a very important message is about a uh, message about the finances and the resources of the world uh, all right and i have no tarot decks so <laughs> I'm going to have to pull a couple from here. All right. So it was like, uh, clearly. Ooh, okay. <laughs> all right. Before we start, as always, I would like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity, and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise, and they help us on our paths to our highest vibrational good. So... For your destiny card this week, we have, this is so interesting. We have the gate 32 and endurance. So this is the human design oracle deck, which was designed by my amazing guest that's gonna be speaking 
at the winter solstice event. So if you know anything about human design or you want to learn about some of it, uh, come along to that. I'll be talking about that in just a moment. But this is so interesting to me for a few reasons. This card is a money card, right? It's a finance and a resource card. The message behind this, because it says endurance on the card, right? So the message behind this card is to stop living just purely by instinct, because when you live only by instinct, you become a very reactive person. When you react to situations, you're not always thinking clearly. And when you're always in that instinct mode, it can sometimes really shut us off from the higher mind to see things from a bigger or a broader perspective. Now, the bunnies or the hairs, if you like, on the card actually represent proliferation. And so this basically says that your ideas, your ability to grow things, your ability to pull to you what you need, your resources, to amplify your abundance, if you like, is always with you and you always have uh, the ability to tap into that. So this for me is, it's just crazy, really interesting, especially because I'd literally just said there's a message in all of the signs. There was only one sign out of the whole zodiac this week that had a good message for their finances, which tells me that on the wider world stage, something with the world's money, the finances, the banking system, etc. I don't know what it is, I can't tell you, because there weren't any real specifics, um, but it was kind of like a resounding and recurring problem that came up. So I'm kind of expecting something to happen next week on the wider world stage. If you've been with me long enough and you've been watching these weekly generals and even my sign videos actually, so many of you send me articles, will send me, you know, will post things in the comments on YouTube, will send me messages on Instagram saying, oh, by the way, you predicted this last week and look what's just happened in the news. I love it when you guys do that because for me, that's huge validation, not only of my work and it's not even about like an ego boost. I'm still just as gobsmacked about the stuff that I predict coming to pass as everybody else. And I've always said that the day that I stop being awed by the work that I do will be the day that I stop stop doing it. All right. So how do we best tap into this energy, this energy of endurance to go further than the circumstances that we may be presented with over the course of this week? Well, let's have a look. This week we have the five of wands. So partner up, buddy up, don't go it alone. Right. Really interesting as well. The gate 32, three and two gives you five. We've got a five there, all right? So two fives represents a vigil. Pay attention to where you're putting your mind and your thought energy this week. It's gonna be really important, but also don't go it alone, buddy up. We've got the judgment card, a big shift in social circles, a big shift in connections, collaborations, and the collective is coming up over the course of this week. And I know this to be true as well, because the judgment card was very active over the course of the weekly readings that I did this week as well. On top of that, we've got the Queen of Wands. So there is going to be a line drawn between the people and also potentially there's going to be a divide this week that we see in the online world. We're going to see this probably on the wider world stage. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised as well if some announcement by a prominent woman, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or someone that has that kind of fiery energy, makes a declaration that really divides people's opinions. So it will be a woman that sets something forth or makes a declaration this week on the wider world stage. Now, on a more personal level, buddy up, partner up, Think about weeding out your social circle or the people that you're connected to. It's gonna be very important. And with the Queen of Wands, you're being asked to really think about drawing some personal lines in the sand. What is too far for you? What is uh, an overstep? Where is it that you think that someone may, <clears throat> Yeah, like this week, it, and especially don't do it in a reactive way, right? This is just about thinking about, okay, where does this connection either support me or not, as the case may be, and what am I prepared to do about it at this moment in time? And then finally, for our insight cards, what may be coming up around the corner that we're not aware of, what might be happening in places unseen, and what is a deeper message for this week ahead? And this week we have the full card. So new things, new places, new people, new energies, but more importantly, not all of it we're going to see because we're not supposed to. Whenever the full card shows up, there is an element of this where we're kind of, <clears throat> 
we're flying blind in a sense. And the reason being is because the universe wants to see what have you learned with all of the skills, the knowledge, the resources that you have gained up until this point. Are you even using any of them? We've got this with the Two of Cups. So new partnerships are being forged this week. New partnerships, new connections, new collaborations, a shift in our social circles, drawing a circle around our circle and keeping everything and everyone else out. Just saying. The full card with the Two of Cups, a new partnership, a new connection, a new collaboration is coming in for all of us in some way, shape or form that I actually think can be very beneficial, especially if your life is already seeming to make way or space for new influxes of people. And then we've got this with the Moon card, right? So for some of you, this is actually a re-establishing of an old friendship, a re-establishing of an old connection. So if you've had uh, friends, colleagues, people that you've worked with, <clears throat> excuse me, people that you've worked with before, maybe you haven't had time, maybe you have lost touch, all of that kind of stuff. This week, it kind of suggests that you are reforging or, re, um, or reforging or adapting a bond, uh, a connection, a collaboration, a partnership in some regard that is actually moving forward. So connections are refreshed and renewed this week. And empowerment means choosing your fate so how all of this thing uh, all of these things and also you know that are happening on the wider world stage um how they affect us is really down to us you know not completely but in to a sense right now in terms of what's happening on the wider world stage here the full card coupled with the two of cups that's going to be a new partnership that we see forged on the wider world stage if you haven't seen my 2023 um, numerology video check it out because one of the things that i talked about as a theme for the year ahead in that video was literally there's going to be uh, people renaming companies there's going to be a lot of mergers there's going to be a lot of this kind of stuff and i feel like we're going to see the beginnings of one this week because we've got the moon card there, this suggests one of two things to me. One, it's possible that this has been underway for a lot longer than any of us realize. And two, it may be that it doesn't take. All right, so it's gonna be interesting to see how all of this plays out, but no knee jerk reactions this week, right? Keep it steady, keep it calm, keep it focused, make your choice. And that's the beauty of this. To truly be empowered is to truly understand that you have a choice in every situation. Even if you don't like the options that you have, the power is in the choice. The power is in the ability to choose. That is the true definition of free will. With that said, I wish you all an abundance of all of that good stuff. I completely forgot to mention the winter solstice. You can get your seat on the uh, link in the description box below. 7 p.m. 21st of December. It would be lovely to see you there. If you can't make it, there is a replay so you can watch that after. We're going to be talking human design, astrology, numerology. There's a whole bunch of goody stuff they're going to get. Uh, and you, will, of course, will be, be joining me and Denise Matthew. So with that said, take care and I'll see you soon.